The character creator we are looking at today, and totally ignoring the public poll that I set up, is the me creator on the Nintendo Switch, because dang it, it's really good, you guys. Honest, and I, I gotta talk about it. But first, this silence is deafening. Let's put in some of that classic me maker music. Yeah. Note that I will only be covering the Switch version of the Mii Maker, as all of its incarnations are fairly similar, aside from maybe a few available selections, but otherwise I'm pretty sure the options available to you are more or less the same across all of the Nintendo consoles. So to start off with, we can not only create a new Mii, but we can also have the option to send or receive a Mii from someone else, I assume who also has a Nintendo Switch, since it does not work on my 3DS which is where I'm guessing this option comes from. You can save a Mii to an amiibo, presumably from a 3DS or Wii U, and use that same amiibo to copy that Mii over to your Switch if you have a Mii that you are particularly fond of and don't feel like recreating for some reason. Also a side note, if you're playing in handheld mode, this creator also has touchscreen functionality, so that's very neat. Now here we have two different ways to start making a Mii. You can start from scratch with a character with pretty much the default options, or you can choose a look-alike, which is a sort of random button. A pretty good random button at that, since most of the time these Mii's will likely look like a me you'd find somebody else making, and never really pushing any of the options to a ludicrous degree a la Dark Souls and its freaks of nature. Speaking of, the Mii's are designed to be very minimalistic, an exaggerated, cartoony style that pretty much has not changed since their introduction all the way back on uh, the Wii back in 2006. If you want to feel old, that's 13 years ago at the time of this video's production, so uh, yeah. After selecting a preset, or choosing male or female if you choose to go from scratch, you then have all of these face options with multiple submenus. Face is head shape, makeup and features, wrinkles, and skin color. Then you have things like eyebrows, noses, eyes, and other things where you have a selection to choose from, but also some additional adjustment sliders to change their size, or color, or rotation, or height, or position, all that good stuff. If the preset colors are not to your liking, there is also a show more option that provides a slew of additional colors to choose from, and that goes for pretty much everything that can be colored. And in addition to that, you also have some minor accessories and characteristics like glasses, and a single mole that you get to play with. Look at it go. You can also play with the Mii's body shape and size, and you can choose a favorite color of your Mii, which will determine their shirt color. This option does not have a show more colors option, unfortunately. Now it may seem like I'm eager to gush about this creator, but no creator is perfect, so let's go over the Mii Maker's flaws. Spoiler alert, it's gonna be a pretty short list, but we gotta get it out of the way, so here we go. Firstly, regarding the face category, it feels like there should be some sort of option to adjust the head size in some way, like some sliders for height and width, even if it's just a handful of presets, like three or four, as some of these shapes may seem to perfectly fit if it weren't for the fact that they were just a smidge too wide or too tall. This is admittedly fairly subjective, and might not be applicable since that might be the point, you know. This cartoony art style is slightly exaggerated, and maybe they want to keep it consistent with the head shapes. What I feel is less subjective is the slight annoyance that the makeup and facial features are mutually exclusive from each other. Sure, there are combinations of makeup that you might like, but not every single combo is accounted for. If you want freckles, then you gotta say goodbye to your makeup. Same thing with the five o'clock shadow. You can't have both freckles and rosy cheeks and also a rough shave, I guess. Wrinkles is a similar deal. Perhaps there's a combination of wrinkles that you would like, but can't have because you essentially only get one slot for it, and the combination you'd like might not be provided. Now here's kind of a weird thing. For the adjustment sliders, like mouth and eyes and stuff, you have a height slider but not a width slider, which is really strange. I understand you can achieve the same effect as widening the specific characteristic by shortening it and then making it as a whole larger, 
but I feel maybe a dedicated width slider would be nice too, just for a little bit more control. Here's a nitpick. I feel as though the amount of favorite colors available is a tad too limited. They probably keep the selection this small for resource purposes, like if they wanted to implement Miis into a game a la Smash Bros or Mario Kart, this makes sure they don't have to worry about too many colors to keep track of when designing costumes for the Miis in those games, but still a minor gripe that I have. And lastly, in the Switch Mii Maker, there's no music! Me Maker background tracks have always been one of the most iconic and relaxing things to listen to, and it's a darn shame there's none for the Switch, and I think that's a travesty. You can fix this, Nintendo. It's never too late to release a patch or an update that gives us some sweet elevator action to relax to. And if that all sounds like I'm really trying hard to find negatives or that I'm nitpicking, that's because it is. And I am. If you can believe it, this thing is a fantastic character creator. First of all, there are a ton of options, and you all know how much I like options. Basically, everything above the neck of the me can be messed with. Heck, even things below the neck of the me can be messed with. Nothing is off limits, which is great for making each me unique from one another. And the options don't stop there. You not only have a lot to change, but a lot of things you can change them into. Look how many freaking eyebrows there are. Eyebrows! This size extends to most of the other face options too. You've got loads of noses. You've got loads of mouths. The facial hair is a little bit lacking, but you can combine a decent chunk. But I mean, come on. Look at these hairstyles. Four and a half pages. And one of them's a beanie. Just about every facial feature has additional adjustment options, which is always appreciated, especially with how much control they give you. When you choose a nose, you're not just picking its shape, you're choosing its size, its orientation to the face. Same goes for the eyes. Like a set that looks nice, but it's not tilted the way you like it? Tilt them as much as you want. And it's not just minuscule adjustments either, they're fairly significant. And you can basically have these facial features floating off of the face if you would like. Even the hair has the option to mirror itself, which is something I never knew I wanted. It's a lot of control and it's very, very cool. Minor praise, you can change both the height and weight of your me. Nothing much to say, it's just really nice that you can do that. Here's something the Mii Maker does that's pretty great. Nothing, not the facial hair, not the hairstyles, not the makeup, none of the features, nothing is gender locked. Wanna make a lime green, patchy bearded me with purple pigtails and a brown dress? Go nuts. Literally the only thing that's changed from male to female is whether or not you have a dress. Because of the Mii Maker's crazy amount of control and little to no restrictions, Believe it or not, it's surprisingly great at recreating stylized versions of people and iconic characters in media, which I think is thanks to its simplistic cartoony aesthetic, which I really like. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I think there's enough to mess with and so many ways to make your me that I don't think anyone's going to flat out hate it. No, it's no Xbox avatar or Black Desert Online, but there's a reason the Mii Maker has not fundamentally changed since the Wii nor do the Miis back in that era look any worse with age. The art style, regardless of its subjective preference, has held up tremendously well, and is a strength more than anything else. And the nice bow that just ties this whole thing together is how pleasant the user interface is. Visually, sure, it's, yeah, it's, it's nothing special, but the layout is clean, straightforward, gridded out, and you can tell what you're selecting. It's really easy to work with. No need to fiddle with anything. You want something to happen in the menu, it happens. No hassle, no second thought. That's a quality of user interface that often goes unappreciated because when it's done right, it's unnoticeable. And guess what? The Me Maker has selectable preview, which is very, very important when you have so many options to compare with each other. Conclusion. The minor flaws in this creator are easy to overlook. It's something that almost anyone can pick up and understand how to use immediately. There's a massive selection of options and ways to play with said options to make pretty much anything you want. And it's all held together with a very nice, simple, appealing style that will age very well. This has been Character Creator Critique. Be sure to vote for which character creator you would like to see next, and I'll see you then.